Number 15, Mr. Hands. In 2005, a Boeing space engineer or something went out to Enumclaw, Washington and got fucked by a horse and he died. This guy really took one for the team. Number 14, pulling a mustard gas level fart in a McDonald's playhouse. Needless to say, Anne Frank ain't got shit on these tots. Number 13, sticking your pee pee down the shower drain to get the ultimate suck. I tried this in Paris, and a rat crawled up the drain and chewed my pee pee off, and I have no pee pee now. Number 12, revenge at Walmart. When the janitor Jose called me a honky, I decided to exact my revenge that very day. When he wasn't looking, I pulled a double decker doo doo in his mop bucket. Now it seems that Jose has a quote bounty on my nigga ass. I'm not quite sure what that means, but I'll make sure that I listen to Tupac's All Eyes on Me for inspiration. Number 11, measuring my daddy's cock with a yardstick. Turns out I need another yardstick because his cock exceeded my expectations. Number 10, getting lost in the back rooms of the Catholic Church. It's safe to say there appears to be a chainsaw right behind me. Hopefully, he just circumcises my pee-pee, cause I don't feel like doing the dishes like a woman that had a castration. Number 9. Ian Watkins goes sicko mode on the Polar Express. When the Polar Express arrived in front of Ian Watkins' home on Christmas Eve 2006, he hopped on that bitch faster than a plane smashing into a skyscraper. It's safe to say, he got exactly what he wanted for Christmas on the last train home, but it's okay, it was only mega lols. Number 8, waffle stomping my doggies doo doo cutely. I just like the feeling of warmth underneath my feet while wearing my Jesus sandals. Number 7, The Cupcake Monster. Legend has it, if you say EDP445's name in the mirror three times at approximately 4.45 a.m. in the morning, the Cupcake Monster will appear in the reflection next to you. As soon as he appears, he will ask for his precious cupcake. If you don't provide him with his precious cupcake, He's gonna start ranting about the Eagles, and we both know we don't want that shit to happen. So I recommend, if you do this, bring a cupcake with you. Otherwise, you're in for a bad time, buddy. Number 6. Why is it when Peter Parker talks about his sixth sense, they make it all cool and call it Spidey Sense? But when I talk about my sixth sense, they call it severe autism. Number 5. My first field trip was with my great grandmama at the abortion clinic. It's safe to say I'm dead. Number 4. Call me a faggot all you want. It's not gay to kiss your daddy's titty for that sweet, good, good cookie crunch cereal. Number 3. How do vegans give head? They be sucking dick with the veggie stick. Number 2. TSA pulled me aside at the metal detectors at the airport. They told me that there might be contraband inside my body. Turns out, without even realizing, it was my daddy's bionic pee pee. Before we get to number one, be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel, Sklumzy, and also be sure to check me out on Pornhub at Dylan is chillin' with his cock out. 
I just gotta say, my flaccid pee-pee resembles that of an attachable pencil eraser. And when it's erect, it resembles that of a Jimmy Dean frozen breakfast sausage. Yum yum. <laughs> anyway, number one. Milking Tony the Tiger's big juicy cock to get some of that fresh milk on my frosted fucking flakes. I'm not gonna cap. I enjoyed every second of that shit. Imagine vaping a meat with a faggot. Ha ha ha!